Hey what's up guys, I'm Adnan and I'm back with another video. So let's not waste time and get on with the video. So today we're gonna learn how to make Fortnite not lag. First of all we're gonna go uh, go through the game settings. So open up Fortnite, go to settings and first of all we have Windows mode. Always put it in full screen, nothing else, okay? Display resolution, my display resolution is 366 by 768 that is what I've gotten uh, in the settings put put what your display resolution is all right now we got frame rate limit now this is something we gotta talk about a little this is called capping frame rates you can limit your frame rate if you're not getting a constant frame rate and if you have FPS drops I'd recommend um, search research more about capping frame rates and then see if you need it or not all right next we have quality don't touch it just leave it what it is now next we have 3d resolution guys this is really important now if you have a low or medium in PC like mine you would want to put this in at like 60 for the most frame rate or maybe even lower if you have a really low in PC but thankfully my computer can handle something like 90% so I just put it in 90% because it looks really crispy and clean Alright, next we have view distance. View distance always put it in near. Shadows. Shadows should be off if you want the most frame rate, but if you have a kind of better PC and if it can if and if it can handle, you can put it on medium. But I'd like to keep it off. Um, next we have anti-aliasing. <sighs> anti-aliasing. I don't know how to say it. Whatever, just turn it off. What I don't know how what the fuck that is, but you you gotta turn it off. Next we have texture and yeah texture you it should be on low but if you have uh, if you have a PC that can handle medium texture I'd recommend having it on medium because it just a, a low texture just makes the game look really crappy. Now next we have effects effects put it on low post processing put it on low. Now next we have V-Sync V-Sync turn it off motion blur turn it off. Next we have show FPS. I'd recommend turn it on and see what type of FPS are you getting. Alright, now I get a bonus tip for people who has really really low end computers. You would want to go to the sound tab and change the quality and see an option called quality. You want to change it to low. Um, I really don't recommend this. Uh, recommend people doing this because this really um, your audio your sound sounds really bad in the game and it's really hard to hear footsteps and stuff so I really don't recommend it but if you have a really low end computer and you need those frame rates I'd say go for it alright guys the next step doesn't really work for me but if, if it works for you that's great so while Fortnite is open go to go to your desktop and click on the taskbar right click on the taskbar and click on task manager so when you're in task manager click on details go to details and find this uh, find this uh, find this thing called Fortnite client Windows 64 something and right click on it um, click on set priority and click on high change priority click OK but for some for some reason it says for me that access denied I don't know what why this happens but if it works for you that's great I'm happy for you all right for the next step we're going to turn off all the animations on your windows to do this you want to go to your desktop and click on this PC then go to properties click on advanced system settings click on settings then you wanna uncheck everything, like literally everything except smooth edges on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. And now you can just press apply and press OK and it'll turn off all the animations for your uh, on your windows and this will just speed up your windows and also your game. So guys, in the next step, we're going to delete every unnecessary files that your computer doesn't need but still has for some weird reason. So click on the Windows button, type in percent app data percent, click enter, and you will be brought to this folder. Click on app data on top and click on local. Then go to 
go scroll down and find temp temp go into that folder select every fo every file in that folder and shift delete delete everything permanently don't keep a single thing and if if there's something your your computer needs uh, windows isn't going to let you delete it so don't worry this is going to free up a free up hella space on your pc and make your pc and your game run even faster all right for the next step you want to go to go and press your windows button and search uh, type edit power and you would see this option called edit power plan now go to power options on top and choose high performance and then click on change plan settings then click on change advanced power settings and and open hard disk then turn off hard disk after and go to settings and double click it and set it to zero mine is already set to zero then scroll down and you would find processor power management and click on minimum process state and maximum process state and make sure all of them are on 100% press apply press ok close it alright guys for the next step we need a software called perp control the link will be in the description you can go ahead and download and install after installing open park control and you'd find something like this so by default your um, by default your your PC is going to be set to high performance you want to change it and click on the drop down menu and select bit sum highest performance and press apply and press ok what this software does is unpark all your cores that your computer doesn't use so you can have uh, so you can get even higher performance as now is the last step and for this step you really need another software called timer resolution the link will be in the description or and just download it and install it and open it so what this software actually does it it just lowers the latency between your monitor and your hardware and also your game and this just makes your game feel even more snappier and faster so what you want to do is open up the application click on maximum and click close this is just going to lower down your uh, lower down your latency now you can just uh, you can change it to default after you've uh, after you're done playing Alright guys, keep in mind that this video is to bring out the most performance out of your uh, out of your respectable machines. This doesn't promise to uh, this doesn't promise that your PC is going to be s suddenly really. Alright guys, keep in mind that this tutorial is to help you get the most out of your machine, the most performance out of your machine, the most frame rates out of your machine, and if uh, and it doesn't promise that uh, after this tutorial your PC is going to be suddenly really high end or something, and this is just to get the maximum performance out of your machine. Now, if the video helps like the video if the video didn't help like the video if the video helped subscribe if the video didn't help subscribe and this was your boy adnan and subscribe again like again and comment if you want and that'll pretty much do for the video i'll see you in the next video bye Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through